The introduction of 5G will alter technology and bring a completely new mobile experience. The primary goal of introducing this wireless technology is to reduce maintenance costs and energy usage. Here in Tech Factuala, we provide you with fantastic ideas on how product development is being applied in future tech and new gadgets. We feature honest reviews about the latest tech and devices that will help you decide where you should spend your money. After over a decade of development, 5G is finally a reality. Several years ago, wireless providers began rolling out 5G and mobile 5G internet connectivity is already widely available. But what exactly is 5G? There may be more questions regarding 5G than answers. Some question where 5G is accessible and if it will ever be available in their city. While others are more concerned about which 5G phone they should purchase, of course there is a discussion about which carrier offers the most significant 5G phone package. We are here to provide answers to your questions. Here's all you need to know about 5G technology right now. What is 5G technology? Before we get into how 5G works, it's probably a good idea to define 5G. We will go over other details throughout this video, but here is a fast primer. 5G is the fifth generation of mobile broadband, and it will eventually replace or at the very least supplement your 4G LTE connection. With 5G, download and upload rates are considerably quicker. Latency, or the amount of time it takes for devices to communicate with wireless networks, will also be significantly reduced. 5G networks are more efficient by design, with more connections per tower and higher speeds per user. 5G is also intended to work across a broader spectrum of radio frequencies, providing new opportunities for carriers to expand their network offerings and the ultra-high millimeter wave brands. 4G phones are incompatible with the latest 5G network, since 5G is an altogether new technology that operates on new frequencies and systems. How does 5G technology work? Now that we know what 5G technology is, it's time to learn how it works as it differs from standard 4G LTE. Let's start with the 5G spectrum. 5G technology like 4G LTE runs on a wide range of radio spectrum allotments, but can operate over a more extended range than current networks. Sub-6 is the most often utilized version of 5G, but it is also millimeter wave. Sub-6 refers to a 5G technology that works at a frequency lower than 6 GHz. All carriers have some sub-6 network because 4G LTE currently operates on these lower frequencies. T-Mobile, for example, has both its low-band 600 MHz spectrum and its previously Sprint-owned 2.5 GHz spectrum in use for 5G. Sub-6 spectrum is critical for 5G rollout because lower frequency radio waves can travel great distances and penetrate walls and obstructions. This allows carriers to develop considerably larger networks without installing a large number of new cell towers. Then there's millimeter wave, which refers to ultra-high frequency radio waves with frequencies ranging from 30 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz and are utilized to supercharge 5G connections and give download speeds of multiple gigabits per second. Verizon initially relied solely on millimeter wave for its 5G network, but the provider has since implemented a sub-6 network as well. While millimeter wave connections can provide ultra-fast download rates, the high-frequency signals cannot travel great distances and cannot pass through barriers. In most cases, even a window or the leaves on a tree can block the connection. That means that carriers will need thousands of small network cells in each city to build a robust millimeter wave network. Essentially, a millimeter wave network implementation frequently requires constructing small networks around practically every corner of every building. So what's the point? The point of millimeter wave is that it can handle a massive volume of data as well as a massive number of users at the same time. This makes it ideal for densely crowded cities as well as venues such as stadiums and arenas. Millimeter wave also uses an all-new spectrum that other 3G, 4G, or sub-6 5G networks do not occupy. Therefore, there is no resource trade-off. Although all major carriers are implementing millimeter wave networks, those speedy connections are currently limited to a few downtown districts in big cities. It is expected that millimeter wave networks will become more common, but only time will tell how long this will take. Until then, Sub-6 will provide 5G to the overwhelming majority of people the vast majority of the time. How fast is 5G? 5G download rates can exceed 1000 megabits per second, or even 2.1 gigabits per second. 
To illustrate, a user might start a 1080p YouTube video on a 5G mobile without it buffering. Downloading an app or an episode of a Netflix show, which can currently take several minutes, can now be done in a matter of seconds. Wirelessly streaming 4K video becomes much more feasible as well. If using the millimeter wave, these samples would currently need to be within an unobstructed city block of a 5G node, otherwise the download speed would be reduced to 4G. The low band can stay locked at 5G over longer distances, and while the full speed of low band 5G may be slower than the millimeter wave, it should still be quicker than a solid 4G connection. Low band 5G download speeds could range from 30 to 250 megabits per second. Low band 5G is more likely to be available in rural areas. Mid band 5G download speeds could reach 100 to 900 megabits per second, and it will most likely be deployed in major metropolitan areas. What to expect from 5G? 5G is predicted to have substantially faster speeds and capacity than 4G, and much lower latency, the time between initiating an action and receiving a response. Because 5G can send and receive signals virtually instantly, it is projected that 5G will provide mobile internet rates of more than 10 gigabits per second, which is almost 100 times faster than 4G. With 5G, latency will be less than a millisecond, a 5G user could download a feature-length HD movie in less than 5 seconds, demonstrating its fantastic speed. In addition to better download speeds, 5G is projected to make the Internet of Things implementation and adoption easier. This might have far-reaching consequences for businesses such as manufacturers, which are increasingly reliant on IoT, to connect their processes and plants digitally. Finally, the new technology has the potential to render wired internet connections obsolete, Although fiber optics will be used in backhaul traffic, telecom companies aim to save money in the future by not having to build last-mile cable connectivity for customers. Preparing for 5G Carriers, telecom manufacturers, and numerous technology firms are working hard to create the worldwide standards required to streamline mainstream 5G processes. Some practical issues for its implementation remain unresolved, such as which spectrum band 5G should occupy, and which wireless technologies should be used. Non-tech firms will demand a presence at the 5G negotiation table as well. For example, media businesses will advocate for improved 5G access so that consumers can watch movies in greater resolutions. Enterprises are attempting to take the lead in using emerging technology. Instead, numerous countries like China, South Korea, and the United States have already begun to test the technology. Many more are anticipated to follow suit with Spectrum sales or auctions over the next 12 months. In the future, telecom companies are projected to invest extensively in capital expenditures to cover implementation costs, such as installing additional towers in rural areas and mobile hotspots in congested metropolitan areas, hoping to enable their technology to achieve 10 gigabits per second. Simultaneously, businesses are required to invest in systems capable of handling the predicted spike in data traffic as data volumes increase and spectrum costs rise, 5G will necessitate additional spectrum bandwidth. The majority of industry watchers believe that 5G would operate at extremely high frequencies known as millimeter waves. Wireless technology innovation, including semiconductors, operating systems, and apps, has traditionally come from venture capital-backed tech businesses based in the United States. To address the 5G problem, many telecom companies have successfully established innovation incubators focused on 5G development. These incubators, which operate independently of the corporate entity, have a startup mindset, creating and prototyping ideas for the company to include in its plans. Looking ahead, the opportunities for telecoms and tech companies. When presenting the higher cost of increased data usage to its clients, many telecommunications providers, notably in Europe, have challenges. Nonetheless, many carriers recognize the numerous business opportunities presented by 5G, including new revenue streams from avenues that capitalize on the growth of the IoT, such as smartwatches, other wearable items, and sensors embedded in industrial products that could be connected to 5G networks. These opportunities are available to both carriers and technology enterprises around the world. Although the telecommunications business is highly concentrated, additional industry consolidation involving 5G technologies and telecom equipment companies can be predicted. In reality, several countries may be left with only one provider of wireless infrastructure. This convergence will aid in an anticipated standardization of 5G technology. 
According to the American Consumer Institute Center for Citizen Research, investing in and creating a 5G network will make $533 billion in U.S. GDP over seven years and $1.2 trillion in long-run consumer benefits. Tech firms specializing in IoT or wireless technologies must continue educating themselves about and investing in 5G technology or risk missing out on its full commercial potential. If you want to get updated about the top tech and tech deals for you, we invite you to join our techie community and interact with us by commenting your thoughts below. We'll see you in the next video.